Hello all, Joe from Models Workshop here. Today I'm going to be priming the Necron Obelisk. This is a fairly large model and as you can see here, a lot of stuff to do on it. And we are going to be using for our primer Vallejo Black Surface Primer. And to do the priming, we're going to use the Games Workshop spray gun. Not the best airbrush in the world by any stretch of the imagination. It's already causing me a lot of issues, but it will do the job for the moment. At least for uh, priming and my base coat later on. I do not have a compressor at the moment, so I have the propellant can. The propellant can is set up into a bucket of warm water to keep it from freezing while being used. I have already gone ahead and added my Vallejo primer to my Reservoir. The two, the uh, tack in the reservoir that you see there is simply to keep the air hole in the reservoir from closing up. This is very important. If that air hole plugs, you won't get any paint coming out of your of your air gun, which will kind of negate the purpose. Just be sure to remove the tack before you actually spray. But that is what I'm going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be using. Other things you will need is some sort of backing to spray against. In this case, I'm using it. I'm actually using the inside of the box from the Necron Obelisk kit. Um, that's really about it. And let's go ahead and get to the show. All right. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove our tack from our reservoir. And plug our reservoir into our spray gun firmly. Now we shall go ahead and make some test sprays until we get paint coming out. There we go, we got paint coming out. Means it's pulling it up through. Do quick controlled bursts. Um, and, tr and do not bear down on the trigger in this case at all. Make sure it's firmly attached and. Just go for it. Try to wiggle it around to get in under any areas that kind of stick out otherwise you leave an area unprimed Thank you. 
I'm going to check my levels here. Yep, I could use some more primer in there. I was starting to run low. It's too easy. We just take our primer. Give it a good healthy squeeze. Close her up. Want to kill the GW spray gun because it does not want to stay in the reservoir, does not want to stay attached. Get the do your test race, get the primer going again. Make sure you're getting at it. If you have multiple angles to get at things, make sure you're getting at the multiple angles. If you stop getting paint flow, check your air hole. In this case, it's become a little sticky. I can feel it just trying to put the uh, tack in, so I kind of clean it out. I am really not liking the GW spray gun. But I really can't afford anything else at the moment. For a large project like this though, GW Spray Gun isn't the worst thing in the world. It's still better than trying to hand paint on your primer or large base coat. We're almost done with the upper side. We just go ahead and give it a spin around to see if there's anything. Try to be careful in case it's still tacky. Don't really want to be leaving fingerprints. Look for areas that weren't as well co covered. Give them a good, an extra hit. These lower extremities seem to be nice and prone to that. This side I'm going to give it a little bit extra because it got, it didn't get much primer on it because I was running low in the bottle. Now, I will glue that on later, back on later. I'm picking up more super glue tomorrow instead of more paint. Check my paint level again. Yep. I should GW the GW spray gun does not regulate very well, so I'm using a, probably a bit more primer than I was told I probably should be, but hey. Welcome to the GW spray gun. Since we paused for a moment, let's go ahead and check our air hole.
you do want to get the undersides, you will be painting them. I know it seems silly, but as I said before, and I'll say it again, your project looks 900% better if you give the same attention to the sides you don't always see as you do to the sides that you do. In this case, you actually want to go up inside the model just a hair. You don't, in this case, need to go all the way up inside, but you do want to go up inside the hair. Any spots like these scarab tails that were a little out of the range of your original spray, go ahead and rehit. And then we're pre that's pretty much it. That's done. So, we go ahead to remove our reservoir. We're going to take a thing of water, lower our spray gun into it, and spray into the water. Doing this to clean out the gun itself. Remove the needle, well, needle-ish. Let's just dunk that straight into the water there. We can pull it out in a moment. Try not to do what I just did and spray it all over your leg. Give it a couple extra squirts. Next thing we're going to do is we're not going to remove this cap at the moment. We're going to remove the stem from the cap. If we just remove the cap, air would leak everywhere. By removing the stem, you get just a quick burst and it's done. Now we can go ahead and remove the cap. Still feels pretty heavy. I should have enough air left to do my base coating experiment later on. Right now, though, we have to wait for this to dry. Go ahead and make sure there's no more air left in the spray gun. The silly flamer unit. Clean it off. Now, before it dries, we will take our paint bottle, take our reservoir, open that up, I'm going to take the uh, these parts to the sink and do a complete and thorough cleaning of them. But we take our excess primer, return it to the bottle. I will go ahead and clean that bottle out there, that reservoir out thoroughly too. Make sure your bottle sealed closed. And outside of the cleanup at the sink, you're, we're pretty much done. All right. And now we just wait on it to dry. Hello again. Look, I enjoyed uh, showing you how to prime the Necron Obelisk. Next time, I will be showing you how I do my mix for my base coat, and then I will spray my Necron Obelisk with my actual initial base coat. I will see you next time here at Models Workshop. Hello all, Joe here. If you like this video, please comment on it below. And if you really liked it, please, big red subscribe button at the bottom, click on it, 
Enjoy all our videos. Keep watching. Thank you.